Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com, training videos and Chief Architect. My name is Dave, and uh, what qualifies me to teach you in Chief Architect is... No, there's no qualifications whatsoever. I could have taken some sort of qualifications, but I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna do that. Today we're gonna be lo looking at uh, how to install these really cool nano doors. Everybody here in Southern California is, are putting in these bifolding doors. I mean, just left and right. Every job I go to. Why Chief Architect hasn't adopted an easier way to do this, I don't know. But I'm going to show you how to do a neat little corner trick that allows us to build um, a kitchen much like this. Or excuse me, not a kitchen, but a corner bifolding door system. So look at this. I take two little pictures, one that shows it open, one that shows closed, and I could just flip between them and go, wow, not bad, not bad at all, baby. So we're going to get right into this and see if we can create this ourselves, which I think we can. I'm going to start with a blank plan. I'm going to go ahead and use my wall tool, and I'm just going to create a box. This would be our typical house. And um, we have some symbols here. Now, this particular video is totally free. And if you go over to chieftour.com, you can sign up for just a one-time small fee of 100 bucks. Not a monthly thing, not a yearly thing, just a one-time simple fee for 100 bucks. You get all my training videos and all my symbols. And I mean all my training videos and all my symbols, even the future ones that I'm going to make. So they're all available at chieftutor.com. So this particular video, I'm going to give away my door symbol and my little video here that shows you how to put it in. But if you go to chieftutor.com and go to the training videos, let's take a look at, say, the symbols page. You'll need the code to pass in. And if you want that code, it's just a simple 100 bucks. You just go to that Prime membership and order it up. But you'll get all kinds of custom doors, custom awnings, custom railings, custom videos, symbols you can plug in. I mean, it goes through textures and styles and how to build stuff I mean you name it we got it and we can install it and we can use it in the chief architect program also works on home designer pro which is nice uh, home designer pro the current version can download any of these symbols and use them they're all marked up whether they've been built in chief x10 or up uh, so any version previous, uh, some of these older ones would be like an X9. So X9 would work, X10 would work, or any of the current Home Designer Pros would work. So you can go through and see we have quite a few symbols to choose from. Not to mention quite a few training videos to choose from, but let's go uh, to Symbols Page 3. We'll just kind of barrel down a little bit and look at some of these uh, symbols that we have. It's a cool little website. It's a great little website. You get lots of options to learn how to draw elevations, learn how to work on roof designs. I mean, we got videos after videos after videos showing you how to accomplish tasks in Chief Architect, just like this video. So we're going to go back and let's start working on these. Um, you're going to get these free glass panel door systems that I built here in Chief Architect. Now, ours typically... now. Now, if you want to do like a bifolding door system, the easiest way on one wall is just to put a doorway. And uh, I'm going to accidentally put two there, but I'm going to select this doorway and we can make it any width we want to make, depending on our wall, of course. And then we go into our symbols and we grab our symbol and we can just place it in place. And then we might have to modify the door or the height if um, if we wanted a higher door or if it's a higher system or whatever. In this particular case, we can adjust these doors to fit that opening. So in this case, I know that this opening is 80, so I could just double click this symbol. I can make the height 80. I can make the panel maybe 30 wide as opposed to 36, depending on whatever width and height you want to be. And then you just simply adjust it and put it into place. So I'll hit tab and I'll stick it in here. And knowing now that it's 30, what I can do is I can use my multiple copy and I can select my multiple copy uh, offset here and just change it to 30. So I know every time it copies, it'll just run it straight across the right height to where I get to where I want to go. And let's say I knew it was going to end with a 30 like this so I'm gonna move back look at my camera and then I've simply installed the view where it shows closed so now I'm gonna select all the doors easily and I'm going to open them up and I can go to layer and on my fixtures exterior I can define them as its own private layer I can simply copy it double click it and maybe instead of saying two it says 
closed view, right? Or just closed and click OK. So that quickly shows me the closed view of that door. Now, if I wanted to show it open, I could take the same door, which I've already manipulated. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and put it out here. And I'm going to double click and open this up, go to its layer tab, define it. I'm going to copy it again and double click in here and erase closed and just put open. Okay, there we go. Well, there we go. And then I can tilt these and knowing I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, I could do the same thing, just copy multiple times for seven of them. And let's see, how thick is this bad boy? It looks like to be about an inch. I could probably go in here and just change it to an inch, which would be an interesting way to do it. Or I could say multiple copy it seven times. I mean, there's many different ways you can do it. So I'm just going to take this one and maybe tilt him, I don't know, a little bit this way. Just to kind of show that, hey, these are the doors all closed up. And again, if I want it on the inside, if I want it on the outside, I mean, I don't know how I want to view it when it's all said and done. But uh, I can be like this, and then I can just switch my layers on and off, which shows me the open and close version. So I go down here to closed and I remove it. Open's already open. Or I can turn the open off and turn the closed on and we can go back and forth to kind of show your client. So you can take a picture of this view and then quickly switch back to that view. But there was a cor corner version that I showed you in the beginning of this picture. It's kind of like a neat little way to um, explore the corner of a house and how do we get rid of that post in the corner so what I used was an actual pass-through a window pass-through and if I do a pass-through I can push it up into the corner like this and by doing that I can grab the pass-through grab one of the grab handles and drag it down the wall see how it kind of inched into the corner like that that's exactly what we want to do so do the same with this inch it into the corner and then we want to open it up because we still see a square there and we can go to the framing tab and we can say has no frame and has no corner post. Oh, while I'm here as well, I don't think I want the casing. So I'm going to remove the casing on it as well and see it gives me a nice clean cut into the corner and I can just do the same with this. I'm going to open it up and go to my casing and say, you know, I don't want any casing and framing. I don't want any frame and has no corner post. Click OK. And now I can simply open that corner up to as large as I want. Let's say it went, um, well, we'll say about 16 feet one way and whatever the next. And we go to our view and we get that opening exactly as we want. This is a great way to do it because it keeps the header. Now we just need to adjust the height because we know we're going to go 80 inches high. I'm going to double select these bad boys, open it up, and make sure both my heights are 80 and floor to bottom is 80 and floor to bottom or floor to top is 80 and floor to bottom is zero. Click OK, 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 and back to the view. And now I have a corner place where I can put it in. Now, I remind you, I minus the frame there. So <clears throat> when we put in the terrain for the outside, we can adjust that up. Let's see, it usually automatically adjusts what to eight. So I'm going to adjust it to zero. In this case, we can adjust it even higher if we want to. But it comes around so we can put our own little base in there to cover the base of it. Or we could simply um, uh, use the, the landscaping tool as well. So I'm going to get rid of that. But you can see now how that kind of corner works. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to our doors. And I'm going to go ahead and place this door. And we'll go right into the corner like that. And we'll copy and paste in place. It's the same one come over here now these I believe were 96 and I'm going to use my point to point to kind of move things together and get them to where I want so I'm going to put this point on that point and then I'm going to try to select them both it looks like I got the doorway so I'm going to try to select the door there we go I'm going to go in one bit and then here I'm going to select this one I'm hitting tab on the keyboard to get it and put it right there that way it starts off my corner. And again, <clears throat> I want to select the first one, shift select the second one. I'm going to open them up and make them both 80 as we start to resize them. And we can just place them right in the corner and follow that same method. 
pushing them this way, pushing them that way, and then we can put in our own little base at the bottom using a polyline solid or countertop molding or whatever we'd like. So that's how we do the corner version, uh, plugging in the corner version of the bifolding doors and that's my method of doing it here at chieftutor.com. You can learn many more tricks and tips at our website, chieftutor.com. And like I said, you can sign up for a measly $100. You get hundreds, if not thousands, not hundreds, hundreds of training videos on top of lots and lots and lots of symbols, not to mention textures and all other kinds of tips and tricks. So join us again when you can. All right. I've had enough talking to you. Nah, I don't know. So let's go one more thing. This is 36 wide. I'm going to go back to my adjusting tool, my multiple copy. Make that 36 wide and punch them all down. Yeah. And I can grab this one. Tab, tab till I get the right one. Hit my multiple copy. It's already set up to 36, so I just have to drag these on over. And last one there. And I'm going to adjust my opening now to fit the last of my panels. Same here. i um, not sure how long it went, so I'm going to bring it right in there. Fantastic. And that gives me my closed look and my corner piece. Well, thanks so much for watching. hope you learned something new. Please join us here at ChiefTutor.com when you do have a chance and learn many more tips and tricks. And uh, and thanks for watching. Did I say that already? I think I did say that already. Am I rambling on? Of course I'm rambling on. That's what I like to do. Yeah, that's right. When I was in England, just a little lad, I was rambling on like you wouldn't believe. It just went on and on and on.